13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Ty Quinones and right now in your 13 Action News Update, a second case of Omicron now has been identified in Nevada. Well, this comes as the sports world is feeling the impact of surging cases and movie fans are also returning to theaters for the new Spider-Man. According to state health officials, the new case involves an unvaccinated woman in her mid 40s. She tested positive in Churchill County that is east of Reno. That case right now is still being investigated. Well, the Raiders game now has been moved to Monday. It was originally set to take place in Cleveland on Saturday. Now, this comes after a COVID outbreak within the Browns organization. It left more than 20 players on the COVID-19 list. Raiders owner Mark Davis said telling ESPN that moving that game back two days is a competitive disadvantage to the Raiders. Now, the game will take place at 2 p.m. on Monday. Well, Green Valley Ranch is preparing to celebrate its 20th anniversary. It is turning 20 years old on Saturday. The local's favorite casino has a whole plan for the big night. Fireworks by Gucci is the company that puts on the New Year's Eve fireworks. So, you know, the show will be pretty fun to watch. Temperatures are expected to be close to the freezing mark again Saturday morning. Lows around the Las Vegas Valley anywhere from 28 degrees like in Centennial Hills to about 34 at the airport. Uh, in general, low to mid 30s is where most of us will be to begin our Saturday. So cold start to the day and temperatures do stay below the seasonal average even at our warmest just in the low 50s. But under a sunny sky and the wind is much calmer than Friday, so hopefully a little more comfortable. Repeat performance on Sunday. Temperatures near freezing in the morning, low 50s in the afternoon, but changes arrive next week, increasing cloud cover and temperatures that leads into a rain chance starting Wednesday that lingers through Christmas Day. Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.